so this is y'all's first year on this trip. Um, what are your first impressions so far? I'm so impressed. At first, I didn't know what to expect. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm gonna be bugs. This is my first hiking experience, just being out in nature. It's, it's, it has been awesome, and also being here has made me less afraid. And I have enjoyed myself and waiting for next year. Okay. Well, for me, it just, for me, I grew up like my friends always had woods in their backyards and stuff, so it really just brought me back to my childhood because I haven't been able to be outside. And, um, it reminds me, I told the kids when we got here, I felt like I was on parent trap, you know, like when they go to the camp. So this is my first time actually seeing like a real camp other than what I saw on parent trap. So I love it. It's, it's nice. I love it. Why is it important for y'all students to have an experience like this at a camp at an outdoor school program? Oh, they don't oh, go outside. Oh, no. They don't have any survival skills. Not, and they're constantly on electronics. Yes. And I think they can learn so much more being outside and actually seeing nature and not just looking at it on the electronics. And they're so engaged in their phones and they think they're not going to survive without their phones. But as we can see, day three, everybody is alive. Yeah, I probably only have <laughs> one person ask me about a phone and that's because he had it and he knew he had it. But I think it's important that they see, you know, the world around them. They we read about science but they never get to experience it and you know sometimes parents are not comfortable with being outside so you're not going to see your kids outside to play so this is their experience to be comfortable with going outside and bugs and getting dirty and knowing what to do if you know something god forbid but something does happen in your outside you know and i think also instead of just reading about God's nature, they actually experience it and see it, especially with the big screen last night. I mean, you could just see how wonderful God is and how everything he created is perfect. Yes. How, you know, how beautiful it is. It's mm -hmm. beautiful out here. Like yes. I think they, it really set in last night when we were looking at the stars, like, Oh my goodness. You know, and once we explain, once they explain, you know, about the galaxy and all the stars, some stars are planets and all the stars are basically suns. They were like, wow. And the shooting star. I heard about that. It was yes. on fire. Yes. It was on fire. <laughs> That's, I've never seen that in my whole life. I've never seen it. Because that sounds amazing. Even Katie, Katie was like, I've never seen that. <laughs> it was like on fire. I, I'm still getting, getting over it. would be freaking out about that. Really, and uh, I said, Do you all realize that we're actually in space? That we like, you know, we see it on, um, we think we just so, but we're, we're actually in space right now. And so they really kind of thought about, like, Oh, we really are in space. Yeah, and I think a lot of them said they were like, Now I'm gonna go home and like play in my backyard, or I need to go out at night and like watch the stars. Like, they literally, like, I'm gonna go home and you know explore our yard so i think that's good that you know this experience got them to do that because we can play outside all day on our playground at the school but it's mm -hmm. nothing like nothing like this. being in nature nothing. um what other important real world connections did y'all see made while you were here this week that you think people might be able to take home with them? compost they love yes. the compost they really want to put everything in compost, but I'm like, everything doesn't go back, yes. you know, in the ground. And, you know, it's not all of this is not safe for other animals, but I think they could really take that home. And just the fact of not overeating, getting what you mm -hmm. need, and then going back for more. And I think they learn how wasteful they can really be. Like I told one young man, I said, don't let your eyes be bigger than your stomach. So it's like I think they started to learn portion control and even trying the food, you know, because of course fast food. You want this one, but actually, like one of the boys, he even tried the roast beef. <laughs> he liked it. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I had to make him try, and I'm like, you better eat. I'm putting on the plate. Like you need to try it. You're gonna eat something. <laughs> and then I went to the restroom, came back. He just looked at me like, 
I was like, yeah, you liked it, didn't you? Did he eat two plates? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, he ate two plates. And I just, I, I love that um, y'all introduced him. That I would never have introduced him to it. Like, even the first day when y'all were talking about it, I was like, oh, my goodness, we're going to be 17, not lower. And I, like, saw it get low, and I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. you know, so this looks good. And they enjoyed it. They I wanted to put my stuff in the compost. Like, we were at the table like, uh-uh, eat that, yes. eat that. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to, yeah. We're, I think we're going to do that at the school. And then the the clap thing y'all do, I don't remember. Oh. I just know my part is this part. <laughs> but we're going to try that at the school for lunch because y'all saw how many kids we have. And it's just, it sounds like that in lunch with just our kids. So, And, it was, and they were on cue every time. I mean, just. I was like, wow, we need to try this at school. The Aquatic Adventures. I was so shocked. I mean, they all got in. I mean, they got dirty. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, they're actually getting dirty. They want, like, ew, or this is... They didn't care about their hair, their shoes. They did. It was, like, amazing to me. I was like, so when we get back to Huntsville, I don't want to hear, you can't do this or do that. This trip, three days, proved that you can do it. Two of our students conquered their fear. Yeah. That was amazing. Because I had to tell them, I'm like, we talk about, you know, perseverance and persisting and everything in class. And I'm like, what y'all just did was nothing compared to finishing a math problem or doing coding. You know, you conquered something where you, in your head, your life was on the line. Not your educate, You know, your life was on the line. That's what scared them so much. So, and they conquered it. They did it anyway, so... That's probably the biggest thing for them and their yes. classmates and everything. So. Well, we had one mm-hmm. who, we had two yeah, actually two. on the bridge who needed to hold our hands because they, one of them was really about to like lose it, pass out. <laughs> and the other one, he was just like shaky voice, didn't want to do it. But we just talked him through it. They mm-hmm. kept going. We made it to the yeah. other side. It's like uh, Talia. She held onto my arm on the crossing the bridge the whole time, and she was saying, "I want my mama. I want my mama." I'm like, "Baby, it's gonna take her an hour to get here. We'll be stuck on the bridge an hour." <laughs> so I said, "We got to keep walking, and we're almost there." And then Amani, um, she was good until we got to the ladder. She was shaking, and so but she she conquered it, and once she got down, she was good. But when we came back up, she just went up the ladder. No problem. Crossing the bridge, Talia was just, she was pulling me. I'm like, slow down. I'm <laughs> slow down. So it's that we could see they conquered their fear. Yeah, we had a few. And I had one who didn't tell me he was even scared until we were at the water. And I'm like, dude, you already went through everything else. You might as well play, play in the yes. water, you know? <laughs> so he started playing. And he was the first person. He was crying. He didn't want to do it. He was the first person to find a creature in the water. So he was, like, really excited about that. And I was like, see, do you think you would have been able to find this if you didn't even try? Mm -hmm. And then we couldn't get him out the water. (laughs) And I can't wait for my son to come next year. I cannot wait. Yeah. I think it was just as, just as much as the kids learn, I think the adults learn, too. There was a lot. I did not know. I learned how to use a compass. And I'm teaching, you know, (laughs) social studies. And I had no idea how to use a compass. That was fun. So now I can go back and actually teach my students how to use a compass. So the cabin experience. Yes. That was something that our kids needed. Yes. They didn't have their nice little beds and the air conditioning they wanted. And, you know, it was different for them. Like, when we first went in there, it was like, they thought, like, in my head, I'm like, okay, this is definitely not looking like a jail. They're like, this looks like jail. <laughs> and I'm like, y'all, this is what it looks like when you're living in the middle of the woods. And by, like, the second day, they were excited to sleep in their beds. Yes. They, they loved the cabin. They were like, I want to get back to our cabin. Yes, they you had. Know, they loved it. <laughs> and I think the parents, when they see the pictures, are really going to be impressed as well. Because they were nervous. I mean, when we left Monday morning, their faces, I think one parent almost started crying. <laughs> She's like, I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. And so, um, I think they're going to be impressed as well. And they're going to see, like, oh, my child really did this. So we have one student that I noticed in particular. She's at a, at a, on a lower grade than everybody. And um, she gravitated towards everybody. 
Mm-hmm. She, gravita- she gravitated towards everybody. They all were helping each other. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, the teamwork, I'm glad that was the first thing we did because we could refer back to what they already talked about, mm-hmm. they already knew, um, and that's what we did the whole trip. Um, even with when we're sitting down and we're passing around, eating it family style, family style, that was something new for them. Um, I heard a few of them saying, oh, we should do this at, we don't do it like this at my house. We should try it like this at my house. So they wanted to, mm-hmm. and the only thing I had to explain to them is passing it around, not reaching over to pass it, but they love passing around the food. I think it gave them the concept of being considerate about what you're grabbing off of the plate, other people still having to eat, maybe not touching over all the food or picking over, just grabbing, you know, the food that you need when they had to go back up and get food for the table. They loved it. Cleaning up after themselves. Everybody had a part to play. They all wanted to clean up. Like, it made cleaning up exciting for them instead of just like, we got to clean up. It made it exciting for them. And I like the fact that um, I think it helped them because so many families now are eating in front of TVs. So it's like you may have, and it, it opened my eyes as well. Um, you know, you may have one in one room watching TV, somebody, somebody, but they're eating dinner separately instead of as a family. And even if you think about it, when you go to restaurants, you have TVs. So it's like everybody's just kind of focused on what's on the TV and not really sitting down, actually talking to each other. And even if the cell phones are a distraction as well. So, um, I think that was really good, and maybe when they go home, they can talk to their parents. Say, can we just sit down at the table and eat together and talk instead of phones and Mm -hmm. anything like that? Yeah, and they encourage each other. That's probably the most I've seen them, like, Mm -hmm. encourage. Even when all the uh, kids were crying and stuff, they didn't make fun of them. Like, why are you crying? They were just like, you know, good job. We're so proud of you. Hugging each other mm -hmm. and, um. Yes. They helped each other, like walking. It was, yeah, tear jerkers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And then setting and sweeping, and y'all had people assigned to do it. I just think it was wonderful all around. It was. How y'all um, included them in all of the process. Of anything we did, they were included in Everything. it. Everything. You know? They were so. not. Is It was all about them. And I also like how everything was just so well organized. Yeah, you know, we were talking about how our lessons, we were like, this must be the first focus. Yes. This is this. Because it kept their attention. Whatever was go, I don't care what we were doing. It kept their attention. It all layered into something. And a lot of the things y'all were talking about, we were talking, we've been talking about in class like, we went to, when we went to Epps, before we went to the hike, she was asking, you know, when animals, you know, all these things we're talking about that animals have that help them survive, what is this called? I'm like, oh, y'all better know this. <laughs> we just, like, we literally just took a test on it last week and about adaptation, and we're actually going over maps, so. Um, was there anything else that y'all wanted to say before you get you out of here? Just thank you. Yes. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for doing this. And just don't ever stop. Yeah. Don't ever we, stop. It's like we know what they need, but y'all know how to do it. Like, we know what they need. Yes. Like we just don't know how to do it. Because, you know, we didn't. I was telling one of um, somebody, I was like, this is a place where I can work. Except for, I just have to get used to the, na- like, creatures being around. But I love being outside. I just don't know how to get it to them you know because we're not around mm-hmm. we don't have any of this around where we stay we no. stay in Huntsville there's no woods or anything unless you're in the country yeah. you live in the country so yeah thank y'all for having them here and dealing yes. with them and oh, yes. to cry. I know just everything because you know um, it God brought it together and I'm so glad so that's why I just said thank you thank you thank you yeah, it was worth it every penny worth it it was a life lesson for them as well Mm -hmm.